TST and Self Lube Mold and Die Components are pleased to announce a new partnership with Mold Standard Elements. Inside this Mold Standard Elements are new options for wear plates and wear strips. Our wear plates option to install wear plates, you can see we have all the different series available. If we click on a certain series, we'll start with an A series, it'll ask us our start face. We just install it on our start face and we can choose a start point. Then it's going to ask us a direction. For our direction, we can just pick a direction on the edge of a part. We confirm the direction and you'll see it install the plate. Over here, we can then choose the different sizes that we want. If we put it on a three inch, and we can change it to whatever size we please. We're gonna put that on a 10 inch. We come down here and it'll ask us our housing depth. We can put whatever value we want inside of the housing depth and you'll notice it'll sink the housing into the part. Another thing that we can add is cavity loops and cavity blends. Cavity loops, commonly called Mickey Mouse ears, we can add those in just by adding a diameter. This adds a clearance for the corners automatically into the cavity. The other thing that we can do is we can tell it we want to use steel material, graphite material, or grease grooves. It's very quick and easy to just check the box and it will automatically put the order number inside of the assembly manager. Now all we have to do is click the add instance button and you can see it adds our slide, our screws, and it will also cavity those screws out directly into the plates. After the plate is installed in, you can see inside the assembly manager, you'll notice the plate size. It'll show you the size, the supplier, and the order code. The order codes change depending on the type of material, grease grooves, or graphite plugs that you have in the part. Anytime that you change or update the plate, these numbers will update as well on the fly. You can also see it'll also put the cap head screws inside the bill of material for this part. So now, what if we change our mind? What if we want to change the size of this wear plate? Well, since these are builders built into Visi, it's very simple by going to Edit Elements. I pick on the plate that I want and just tell it to edit the instance. I could come in here then and decide, hey, I want a four inch plate and I want it to be four by 10. Well, I can see my application points wrong. So I just right click here and I'm gonna put a new application point on here and move that plate down. I can then click add an instance and if I exit this you can see we have the new size plate installed. Also this will be updated for the new size plate. New order code. No keeping track. After that if I want to put in another plate or another set of plates I can go back to my mold insert elements Go ahead and pick on my wear plates and do a grease groove plate. I'm going to pick my start face and I'm going to come pick point and it's going to be in the X direction. I'm going to reverse that direction so it adds the plate in the right direction. Now I'm going to select another size. So I'm going to tell it this is a six inch plate. This one's going to be six by six with a grease groove. You can see I have the options to use steel material here if I want. I could sink the plate in or use the cavity loops or use blends, but this one's just going to be sitting on top. Once this one's all set, the size is good, I just click OK, and I can add another instance. Now it's ready to go. I pick my location, pick my direction, and instantly I have another instance of another wear plate. So now I have my wear plates, my screws, everything in, and I can go back to my assembly manager, and I can see I have two grease grooves wear plates and an A-series wear plate. This will all be inside the bill of material. If we sort by supplier, you can see I have the wear plates all in correctly into the, the bill of material. Thank you for watching today.